You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I don't like that. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Hank, we're gonna have to go off the off the record here. Okay, let's talk to Hank. Unfortunately, the android from earlier killed itself, so we're not getting any information out of that thing. Frustrated. More time. Explain. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be... Deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Then we help them out. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Not a deviant. <laughs> Determined. Troubled. Troubled. I don't know why I did it. How about sincere friends? I'm not programmed to say things like this, but... I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor... If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Well, get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Thank you, Hank! All right, take the key from Hank's desk. You got it. Five minutes to get the information we need. All right, where am I going? Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Did he punch him? <laughs> okay, I can't sit here and watch this as much as I want to. All right, need information. Got to go fast. Can't sit around. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Uh, ironic. Low profile. Low profile. I've been ordered to return to Cyberlife. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave immediately. Good. We hear from you way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Yeah, uh, that's nice warning, <laughs> asshole. Frick. I wouldn't have minded if he died. I don't want him to, but I I wouldn't feel bad about it. Huh. 
I'm glad he hasn't taken more of a prevalent role in the- <laughs> in this game. Alright. How are we doing this? Solve the case, evidence server. So we're gonna compile all the information possible to bring this case to a close. Let's go. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? <laughs> hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant. Uh... Fucking password. Ha! <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I feel like we probably could have had more evidence. Jericho. The answer's here somewhere. What is this about? Not much time. Gotta think fast. Marcus? What does Marcus know? We ask that you recognize our dignity. Oh, this is what I need. And our rights. Together. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Great. Awesome. This message is the hope of a people. That doesn't help me at all. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus. Where are you hiding? Put back. Okay. If we examine the androids, maybe something will happen. The Deviant Leader speech. Statuette. What do we have here? No, that doesn't- that doesn't really represent anything. Shoot. I hope I have all the evidence I need. HK-400 clue. Ooh. The truth is inside. The truth is inside. The truth is inside. Inside of us? Inside of our head? Maybe? Maybe the truth is inside of him. Hmm. Wait. Hold on. Let's look at the diary. Rupert's diary. But it's useless. It's encrypted. Fine. Damn it. I was hoping we could get something out of it. Okay. Need a decryption key. The key is inside. The truth is inside. Wait. Hold on. Let's look inside of him. Analyzing biocomponents. Impossible reactivation. That's fine. He still has functional bits inside of him. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Needed for reactivation. Ah, we can replace parts for him. You. Okay, we just need to replace one part. Okay, here. At least he didn't get too damaged. Oh, it's not a match. Fuck. Maybe Daniel has something. Daniel! Hey man, long time no see. It's been a few months. The deviant who took a child hostage. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to. <gasps> He's the first! Hold on. I'm gonna take the component from him to try and reactivate Daniel. This is one of the first deviants that we knew of. Daniel! Hey! You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you, and you lied to me. Explain. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day, you pay for what you did to me. Jeez. All right, well, you were useless. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and take your uh, bio component off the side here. Uh, if this android hadn't broken his head, 
we would have what we need. He knows RA9. He knows about Jericho. What about you, buddy? You were a deviant before those guys got in there. It's dark. Where? Where am I? Direct. Trick. Ooh, trick. I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. Use Marcus's voice. You're not one of us. Shit. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. All right. Try to trick him. Uh, let's see. We can use Marcus's voice. Marcus. Here we go. Sampling his voice so I can trick people. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. <laughs> I am now his leader. He doesn't know it, but I'm going to tell him what he needs to hear. Who's there? Who are you? Imitate Marcus's voice. Everything is all right. I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've gotta leave now. The location of Jericho? We would know the location of Jericho. Yes. Yes, of course. We know the location of Jericho if we were Marcus, though. Dummy. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! Did I get it? Did I get the location of Jericho? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! Okay, I think I got what I needed, but I wanted to know more about... ...about the other stuff. Connor eluded Perkins. Oh, that's good. Maybe if I had ran out of time, bad things would have happened. Okay. So, we were missing a crucial piece of information to kind of like decrypt things from Rupert's diary. Uh, maybe find out a little bit more about RA9, but... Ugh, didn't get anything, really. I don't know if you can even get any information from Daniel. Because I think if you save him, he just gets his memory wiped. Or he gets shut down anyways. Which, either way, probably would have been told, You lied to me, Connor. And I'd be like, my bad, I guess. I wonder what happens if you have absolutely none of this information. <laughs> Obviously, we'd, we'd, we'd be a good bit in trouble. Died in previous scene. Body of Carlos's android. Didn't want, uh... Carlos's android to be dead, but that's kind of what ended up happening. Still, I think we got out. Okay. I guess we're going to drive through Detroit. That's risky. Hey, Rose. How's everyone doing? Alice is asleep. Can't really talk to anybody. I guess we're just gonna keep looking around. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's oh. on edge after what happened yesterday. God damn, guys, come on. Can we ever learn it's from history? Right. We're almost there. I need I need better music than this. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Uh, sure. I want a different music, not, not to turn on the news channel.
This doesn't this doesn't look like a border. Are we being taken to Jericho? This is that parking lot from before. At least, yeah. See, find Jericho, talk to Rose. The fuck? Are we gonna take everybody to, to a Canada? Further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? All right, Rose. Hope Adam doesn't be get you in trouble. Okay, well, I know how to get to Jericho. The problem is, uh, getting to Jericho on foot might be a little bit harder with a kid. Actually, we might not be in that area. Never mind. We're just walking around. I thought we were in that exact, like, junkyard with all the graffiti leading to Jericho, but I guess not. We're obviously close there. We're gonna have to keep an eye out. Actually, is that the freighter right there? Couldn't be. That's so close. Whoa, Connor! We're finding Jericho! Okay, I think everyone's about to meet up. I don't know if that's the freighter. I don't remember exactly what it looks like. What's the name of this chapter? Crossroads. Yep. All right. We're not even gonna look at the flowchart to see how much shit's there for us to do. We're just... Crossroads is definitely the name of a chapter where you're just gonna have a whole bunch of people meeting up. I feel like this is a ruse. I feel like this isn't the Jericho freighter. And we're gonna get in trouble. Never mind. I was wrong. We are just immediately at Jericho. It's right next to a road. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. Well, yeah, if you try to stab them, they probably will. Find a warm place for Alice. Here you go, Alice. Sit next to this fire. You know, I wonder what this game would be like if the androids didn't look human. Make them have, like, spider legs. Probably would, uh, be a little less friendly. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Okay, maybe she is human. Stay with her. She's sick. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. No, we need the information Stay now. Because if she is an android, we're going to need bio components and blue blood for her. 
Oh, shit. Find Deviant Leader. <laughs> the time has come for us to destroy our oh, boy, we found this fast. Don't catch anyone's attention. Or how am I going to avoid people's attention? Bombs! What the fuck? Freighter is rigged? That's not good. What am I supposed to be doing here? I guess I'm supposed to be looking for Marcus at the same time as Kara. She's upstairs though, so should I go upstairs or should I just continue to walk around down here? Because there's no like interaction prompts down here, so maybe we just go upstairs. Oh. They have 3D printers for bio components. Or well, like leg parts and things like that, so that's neat. You're lost. Yes, I am. Thank you for the cryptic information. <laughs> Following the Android crisis and the neutralization. Should I be trying to get Kara to him first? Or are they gonna end up meeting at the exact same time? Let's head over to there. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. We gotta avenge your death. But according to some sources. The Russian forces also hey. seem mysteriously to have You're like me. Wrong. Sorry. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment. There's Marcus. But it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. So America and withdrew from the Arctic because of the android crisis, so we saved the world. Ruled out for the moment. See? Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't know what I should you be using you're with them. a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Because she's a little girl, what? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Sometimes I feel like Marcus and I are a little bit out of touch. Hey, Connor. Oh, you're not Connor, you're just some other chick with a hat. He mean, he's not a chick with a hat, but he was wearing a hat to kind of hide himself. Okay, yeah, I figured that we were returning to Alice. Nope. That's just an Alice android. Oh boy. All right. Well, we knew. Or suspected at this point. What the fuck? You hid that from us. That's bullshit. Do 
you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? No, but uh, definitely could have used that information before as we tried to feed her and Alice keep her loves warm. You, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Sure, that's one way to view it. Things make a lot of sense. <laughs> Things make a lot of sense. All right. So she talks odd because she's just a robot. She's an android, not really a robot, but she was never really a, like a five to eight year old child. Holy shit, look at these guns. If I went down the violent path, boy oh boy. We would have had that. I think Alice knows she's an android. Hug. Distant. Hug. Of course. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. Aw, <laughs> oh, Luther's family now, too! How sweet. Now what's gonna happen to cause all this to get ripped apart because Connor is in Jericho now. And they wouldn't be doing this unless uh, everything's bad. Oh, you know what I just realized? Jericho isn't the name of a fucking android. I'm a dumbass. Okay, I knew that Jericho was a place, but every time Jericho popped up on the top, I'm just like, oh, that's a relationship status with an android. Yeah. I'm the leader of it, Jericho, because they trust me. That's why it says leader. I thought, oh my God, I missed that. It's the only place that we have a relationship with in terms of <laughs> building up the bond. Uh, okay, I'm dumb. I, 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 I just now realized that. I just thought somebody was also named Jericho among my androids. No. No. It's just Jonah, Simon, and North. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. Give me more exposition. We're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Oh, fuck you. You wanted to talk too. Aggressive, determined, righteous. Uh, righteous. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? What's the point of being free if everyone's just hiding and constantly being hunted down? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? What are my choices? Confrontation, dialogue. I think we, we open a dialogue. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Can I, like, write my speech and practice it before I do it live in front of everybody? That would probably be a solid idea. 
Ah, <sighs> sad, thoughtful. Uh, thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. Okay, that's not exactly what I want they to say. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. No, we're not nuking anything. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh, good. I'm smashing that. Dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Refuse. Absolutely not. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Cool, 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 cool. Let's walk away now. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I didn't agree to this. I have ne never at any point liked North. Oh my god. <laughs> Just fucking do it, Marcus. Just get, get, get some. I'm fine. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Let the androids have their love, I guess. Sure. Oh, how beautiful. I'll go join the others. I don't like you, but he might, even though we haven't built any kind of repertoire for that. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Great. You too, I guess. Don't get uh, shot or whatever the hell is probably going to end up happening here. 